Hello everyone, welcome to Retsistic channel, myself Karthik Konnuswami. I hope you guys are enjoying the video series and if you guys haven't subscribed the channel, please go ahead and subscribe the channel. So, so far we have seen about the background about Java language, how the language was created and why this language was created and what is its features of Java by using it in the real time. So now it's time to get into the coding part. But before getting into the coding part, there are something like which we have to understand, which is the basic of Java language which is nothing but the object-oriented programming concepts. Uh, so we call it as uh, OOPS concepts. So the OOPS concepts means like, you know, uh, what is object-oriented programming? What is a class? What is object? And what are all the uh, features of object-oriented principles of object-oriented programming? So these things we will go one by one and we will have, uh, you know, a theory session as well as the real-time implementation in our uh, coding part. So don't worry about it. So we will cover both the theory, the understanding the concepts as well as getting into the coding. So let's see what is a class. So class is nothing black, nothing but it's a blueprint of an object. So what do you mean by blueprint, right? So blueprint is like a template, right? Meaning like, let's say uh, you are having a house or you are having a land where you want to uh, construct a house, right? So wherein you will be asking an engineer to uh, construct a house and that he will create a paper, uh, a piece of paper in which he uh, draw a diagram, which tells us about uh, how the uh, house looks like and that will give us a uh, imaginary uh, vision about the house so that is what the class is so basically class is like you know blueprint based on the uh, blueprint uh, the engineer will construct a house so that is a real time entity which is like an object that we call it as object but the blueprint which is a real uh, imaginary part uh, which is called as a class so basically uh, engineer constructs a building using blueprint similarly a developer develops a class and then using the class we can construct an object so we have a separate video on the next video where we will be explaining about what is an object and why do we need object in Java and how we can create an object and other stuff. So now we are getting deeper into class. So class, we have a number of classes for to construct a, uh, you know, uh, uh, actual application. So a typical real time application will have uh, almost like 100 to 200 of, uh, you know, uh, classes and uh, everything we deal with classes in Java. So that is why it's very important to understand what is a class and how does it looks like and what actually it matters, right? So class contains a variables, methods, and constructors. This is a high level. So variables means some, nothing but what does it contain, right? So I would like to explain this class in with two examples. The first one is uh, the basic one, which is like uh, mobile phones. So let's say I'm having two mobile phones. One is an iPhone and the other one is uh, Samsung. Uh, let's say I want to define something which are common to all the objects. Let's say I want to define some properties of a mobile phone, uh, which is like a constructing a structure of a mobile phone. Uh, then I can create a class called mobile. And for each iPhone, I can create an object so that I can, you know, uh, use the class as a blueprint to create an object for these mobile phones. The second example is like a Facebook. Uh, let's say which is something like we are using it in the real time. Every day we are using it. So when you when you first to uh, I register your user account in Facebook, uh, you are giving first name, last name, middle name, and you know email ID and uh, mobile number, all right? Um, to uh, register yourself in uh, um, Facebook. When you click on register form, so what happens in the background is that uh, all these variables what you define over here, like you know uh, first name, last name, middle name, email ID, mobile number, these are the variables defined in a class in the background, and these variables, the values what you enter over there, uh, will be actually you know set over there in the Java class, and that will get passed in the FB database. So basically this works in this way and uh, let me go through and write a, a, a class called mobile and I will explain this in detail and then uh, I'm going to uh, write the same program in using Eclipse tool and uh, I will execute it so that like, you can see the real future of the class. So, so here we are going to write a class called mobile, right? Which is an example we are taking it here. So how we can write a class, right? So class, we can write with a, a keyword called class in Java. So let's say class and the class name, which is like a mobile. And you have to write a class within double uh, parentheses, like the daily braces. So here we are writing the variables and the methods, right? So variables, so what is a variable? Right, so class is nothing but like it contains some properties, right? So let's say mobile phone contains, let's say the price of the mobile, and uh, the color of the mobile, the name of the mobile, right? So let me write it like this. Let's say string um, name, which is the mobile name of type string, and then string 
price, sorry, color, which is a color of the mobile. And then price is like integer, which is int, price, and then tax, which is like int, tax. So now these are the variables, right? So these are the variables of a class. So now I'm going to write a method for this uh, class. So let's say I want to get the total price of this mobile phone, right? So that I can write a uh, method which is called bubbly. The data type is integer, so int int, and the method name, which is nothing but get total price. So this method also should enclose within the you know the curly braces. So what does this method returns, right? So this method returns return price plus tax. So basically this is the class this is structure of a class wherein we are defining all these as variables as variables this is the method okay so now this is the general structure of a class right so now i want to write a, a class which should able to call this class to execute it right so in java whatever the class we create we can create a number of classes, but there should be some starting point to start executing the program, right? So that class we call it as main class, uh, meaning that that main class will have a main method. So let me write the main class. So that is nothing but, so similarly, class, the main class name, let's say, um, demo. But I want to define this as a public because anyone can able to access this class. So I am writing this with a access modifier called public. Again, this will also end up with uh, curly braces. I will uh, do it in the later part. So now <clears throat> I'm going to write a main method, which is nothing but public static y main of string args. So don't worry about this uh, values like whatever we are defining like public static void main. We have separate videos uh, where we will be explaining about what does public means, what does static means, what is this void, everything. And now we are going to call this uh, class right by creating an object, right? So object is nothing but we have to create it for this class. Let's say mobile. The object name. Let's say iPhone is equal to new mobile off. So this is the syntax to create an object. So I have a separate video, the next video, where we'll be explaining about how this object gets created. We are now focusing only on the class part. And uh, so then I can say like iPhone using the dot operator, I can able to access the values of variables of this particular class. So iPhone dot name is equal to within double quotes iPhone, right? Then iPhone dot color, let's say white. Then iPhone dot price, let's say fifty thousand. Then let's say iPhone dot tax, let's say ten rupees. So now, if I call this method, then this method returns. The total price of this particular object value, let's say fifty plus uh, sorry five thousand plus uh, fifty thousand plus ten, which would be fifty thousand ten rupees, right? So I want to uh, write this uh, method into a, a print statement so that I can see what is the value it's returning. So I am going to write it within system dot out dot println, which is the print statement of uh, in Java. So and I'm going to say iPhone dot I'm going to call this method total price of so <clears throat> here what we're doing is here we are defining the variables values let's say for name we are defining it as iPhone for this object and for this object we are defining the color as white and for this object the price we are defining as 50,000 rupees and for iPhone uh, for this iPhone object the tax is 10 right so similarly you can create another object which is like mobile samsung 
is equal to new mobile off and then samsung dot name is equal to within double quotes you have to write the name which is samsung and then samsung dot color is equal to let's say i want black color and then samsung dot price equal to let's say 40000 and then samsung dot tax equal to 5 then similarly system dot out dot println so now we are going to get the total price of the samsung object right so we have to use this object name which is nothing but samsung samsung dot we are going to call this method by using dot operator so dot Get total price of. So now we are going. We have to close this particular uh, main method, and similarly we have to close this uh, main uh, class, right? So now what we are doing is uh, we are going to uh, we have created two objects. One is iPhone, another one is Samsung. But we are using a class as uh, mobile. By uh, using this class, we are creating a new object, two new objects, right? So here the output should, should be present ten. And here the output should be 4005. Right? So, so this is the way where we are creating a class, where we are constructing a class, where we define the properties, and properties means nothing is nothing but variables and methods, right? So where we are giving the variables and methods, and then when we are creating the objects in the real time, we are actually accessing the variable values, and also we can able to call the methods to execute. So that like we can make a um, class in a better way. So uh, the next one is like uh, we will go into uh, Eclipse and we will see the code over there. Here I am writing a class called demo .java and I am going to uh, write the class properties. So so let's say we have a class called mobile and within this mobile class, so we are uh, creating a variables like string name. This is a mobile number uh, name and also string color int uh, which is a price. And also a tax, which is of integer type, and also we have written a method called get total price, where with the total price is summation of price plus tax. So this is the class we define, and similarly we have to write a, a main class which contains a main method. So the class name is demo, and also we have written in the main method we have written a code to create two objects, one for iPhone, the other one is for Samsung. So if you see here for the uh, mobile iPhone, we have a uh, you know, setting the variable values let's say for name as iphone and color as white and the price as 50000 and tax as 10 and when i call the total get total price of this particular object so it actually you know uses this val value and it is going to return back uh, with the total price and similarly for samsung we are defining different uh, val values for this particular object and then when i call the samsung objects total get total price it is going to return uh, the value of this particular object total price so let's go and execute this program and we will see what's the output so let me go to this run button this green button and let me click on this button okay in the console window we can able to see the output because we have written system dot print ln statement right so this is the uh, print statement in java and wherein it, it displays that you know 50,010 as the uh, total price of iphone and 40,005 as total price of samsung so uh, there is one thing we noticed that we haven't written anything on a constructor of a class because by default every class will have a constructor uh, which is a no uh, argument uh, constructor the, arg the default constructor doesn't have any arguments in it but if you want to define our own constructor we can define it so we have a separate video where we will be explaining about what is a constructor how to construct an object using the constructor and how we can define our own constructor so for now we have to understand that a class is nothing but a blueprint which contains the properties which is nothing but a variables and methods so using this class as a template we can create n number of objects for based on our requirement so uh, i hope you guys understand this class concept if you guys have any questions please post your comments in the comment section and if you guys like this video please hit the like button and also please share with your friends and please subscribe the channel for getting new, new videos updates thanks for watching 
स्टेट्यून बाय बाय